Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So today, this video is in continuation to Azure Synapse Analytics Play series that I have and this is part 4 of the series. In this particular video, we are going to connect an external data lake to the Synapse workspace and then we are going to read the file which is present in uh, the data lake. So this will be a pretty short video and I'm going to demonstrate how we can do that. So let's go ahead and move to the portal. Now, if you can see over here, I am inside the portal. I have already explained about the portal and everything, all the related uh, UI features. I've explained everything in my past video, so you can definitely go ahead and check that. Now, if you see on the left-hand side, you have your data option, data icon over here. And if you click on linked, there is already a storage account. So this storage account is by default created uh, when you uh, create a Synapse workspace. Uh, this thing also I have mentioned before. So now let's go ahead and link our external data lake to this particular workspace. So I'll click on this plus icon over here, add a new resource, and I'm going to select connect to an external data. And my since my data is, is a Gen2, my storage account is Gen2. So I'll click on Gen2 and let's continue. So let's name it as external gen2. Also, this is a link service. So link service, if you are already aware of data factory, you probably know what is a link service. It is just a connection string to your uh, data lake. So we are actually going, going to configure our connection string and we have our integration runtime as auto resolve. So basically you have two types of integration runtimes. Uh, auto resolve and self hosted again this is a concept of ADF uh, when you talk about self hosted if you have anything on on premise then in that case you are going to set up an um, uh, self hosted IR otherwise you will choose auto resolve integration runtime now since my storage account is already on cloud I'm going to use auto resolve integration runtime over here now authentication method will be account key now I'm going to choose my subscription. I'm using free trial. So let's click on this subscription. And now what it will do, it will check for all the storage accounts that I have in this subscription. So I have two storage accounts here in this subscription, ADLS Demo 33. This is the account that I want to connect to. So let's click on this. And then let's go ahead and and test the connection. So I'm testing the connection and you, after uh, giving all the configuration, you should test the connection and it says successful connection. This means that it is able to talk to my uh, storage account. So let's go ahead and create it. So now you can see that my link service is successfully created. So let's refresh this page. And once I refresh this page, page I will be actually able to see my connected ADLS over here. So now if I expand this, so you can actually see after refreshing that I have I have a link for the external Gen2 that I have created. So if I open this further, you can actually see I have a test container inside my ADLS. I'll quickly show you the container on the UI as well. So it will be much more easy for you. So you can see that inside test, I have an iris.csv file. Now, if I go to the portal, if I go to the home, so basically this is the storage account that I created and I'm trying to link to Synapse. If I go inside the storage account, I see the containers. I have created this test container, which is actually you can also see over here. So since it is linked, it can it is actually fetching all the contents of my ADLS, right? So you have this test over here. You have the test container over here. If you go inside test, you have this iris.csv file. So let's see what's inside this file. So this file basically has around 150 records and this is how it looks like, right? And the same thing is reflected in your uh, Synapse workspace as well. Now, if you go ahead and click on, uh, uh, you, you just do a right click on the CSV file, you can actually see these are the options over here. So new SQL script. Okay, let's let's go ahead and what I'll do is I'll select top 100 rows, right? Just click on this option. Now you will be navig navigated to a SQL script, 
right this script uh, let's publish it first i'm going to save it so publishing is nothing just saving i'm going to save it first and then i'll show you where the sql script lies if you see on the left hand side there is an option of uh, notebook over here which says develop so if you go and click develop this is the sql script which is generated this is the same sql script right so now let's see what the sql script says so what i'm trying to do here is i'm just trying to select top 100 rows from my ADLS container which has a CSV file. I am using this bulk and inside bulk I am trying to give the path of my file. So this is nothing. This is just the path of my file and this is the format and parser version. Right. And if I run this, this is the SQL statement which through which I can actually go ahead and see the results. Now you can see this is the result set right so what it has done it has actually shown me the all 150 rows that i have inside my uh, uh in, inside my file now you can see i have the on the top i have the c1 c2 c3 c4 and c5 this is nothing this is just because i have not mentioned header equal to two if i go here and write header row equal to true and then comma then actually and le let's publish it then you will be able to see that yes uh, it will consider that yes your file has uh, a header while reading uh, while reading your file so now if i run this i'll just click on run and if i'm running this you will see that c1 c2 c3 will actually disappear since uh, and it will consider now even if i scroll down the top row will be actually considered as headers so this is how you can actually query your data while linking it to an external file that file can be a parquet file or anything that you want and uh, yeah so this is something that i wanted to show you in this particular video also you know uh, on the right hand side if you see you have these properties over here view, where you can actually go ahead and select all rows or first 5000 rows whenever you are uh, you know doing a select star operation so how many rows you want to display in the result set so these are some uh, options also which are available and uh, these things already i have mentioned in my past videos but i'll just reiterate over here that right now it is connected to a serverless pool which is by default present in azure synapse so by default you already have one serverless sql pool which it is trying to use over here right so this is something i wanted to make sure that uh, i make a video on and thank you so much for being till here do let me know in the comment section if you would like to hear more on this topic or you want me to make video on some other topics as well also i got a query on you know uh, creating a ci cd pipeline for the synapse definitely i will go ahead and create a video on that in uh, upcoming sessions thank you so much for being till here Thank you.